they're hoping the season ends like this again. But right now, players and coaches for three-time defending state volleyball champ Wyzetta are just happy to be back in the gym together for a new season, fitness testing and all. It's really awesome to be back with all the girls. I mean, I miss seeing them over the summer. Uh, it's really cool. I love Wyzetta culture, so I'm just excited to be around all these people. As they enter the season, the Trojans do look very much like a top-level team again in 2023. We have a lot like, of solid players coming back and a lot of key pieces from our state championship team last year, so hopefully we'll be able to do the same kind of thing this year. We have a lot of returners, and uh, they, again, they put a lot into volleyball and uh, into their athletic development and their, their relationships with one another, and it, we feel uh, you know, in many ways ready to go. We just we got to bring it together now that, now that it's time. So. With standouts like senior setter Stella Swenson, perhaps the state's best player, her twin sister and fellow Gophers recruit Olivia, another top national recruit in Avery Jesuits, and juniors Katie Kelsenberg and Riley Kurth in the middle, it's easy to see why Wyzetta should be a top contender to get to state. But in mid-August, it's not time to really focus on that just yet. Yeah, we try to not get ahead of ourselves just because, again, it's middle of August and we're just kind of starting out um, we just take it day by day you know and it's like that's our end goal but we're more focused on the process to get there you know it's always in the back of your mind but I think it's just really important to stay present and when the time comes the time comes so the path to state for Wyzetta again could likely feature a clash with another great team in Champlain Park there's a lot of work to be done prior to that and lots of moments to enjoy together Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.